today we are going to learn about forces and motion what is forces and motion let me explain with simple example when we open the door kick a football when lifting a school bag how we are doing it's all involve motion and some push or pull now let's see motion and rest suppose there is a book on your table right in the middle if the book moving you will say it is not moving it is at rest if you push the book to one side of the table to clear space for keeping your notebook then you will say the book is moving when the book was at the same place with respect to the table you say the book was at rest but when it was pushed from one place on the table to another place you say it was moving the first example the man in the boat is moving with respect to the bank of river he is at rest with respect to the boat the second one example the girl on the swing is pushed with respect to the seat of the swing she is pulled with respect to the garden the third one example she is going to her grandmother's house by bicycle the girl on the bicycle is moving with respect to the road she is pushing with respect to the bicycle now we will see how things move from one place to another place in daily life we pulled out water from the well with bucket or the animal pulls a bullock cart it is a person or animal that is an animate agency that does the pushing or pulling sometimes we see a tall grace in the meadow dancing in the wind a piece of wood is moving down a stream what pushes or pulls them we know that blowing wind and flowing water is the causes sometimes the push or pull can be due to the inanimate agency forces and push or pull by an animate or inanimate agency there are two major types of forces the first one contact force it means the force is executed by touching the body so this type of force is called contact force the first one example wind is making the flag flutter the second one a cord pulled by a bullock next is non contact force where the force is applied with without touching in the object bring a magnet near the small iron nail suddenly the nail 
jumps into the air and sticks with the magnet observe that the nail did not touch each other still there was a pulling force that made the nail to jump towards the magnet such forces are known as non contact forces So far we saw forces divided into two that is agency and types of contact agency is classified into two animate factor and another one is inanimate factor then types of contact forces classified into two contact force and non contact force now we will see how force works on object what happens when a batsman kicks a ball the ball is already in motion but with the strike the speed of the ball increases moreover the direction of the ball changes application of force on object results in a change in its speed and change in its direction the second one crush a balloon apply force on roti dough full a rubber band in this case the shape of the object change on application of force application of force in object results in expansion or contraction the another one the person is applying force to stop the cart from moving when the force is applied against the direction of the motion the speed can be reduced or even the motion stopped completely forces can the first one change the states of body from rest to motion or motion to rest the second one either change the speed or direction or both of the body the third one change the shape of the body let's see types of motion there are six types of motion they are linear motion moving in a straight line like a per person walking on a straight path free fall second one circular motion moving a circle sprinkling stone tied to the rope third one curve linear moving ahead but changing direction like a throwing ball fourth one oscillatory motion coming back to the same position after a fixed time interval like a pendulum the fifth one rotatory motion the movement of the body about its own axis like a rotating top the sixth one zigzag motion or irregular motion like the motion of a bee or people walking in a crowd street what is periodic and non periodic motion take the case of hour hand of a clock in one day it makes two rounds look at your punching ball it punches a certain number of times for a given time interval or period look at the water waves in a given period 
that is time interval a fixed number of kitta show motion repeated in equal intervals of time is called as periodic motion let us take the example of sabbing swing in wind this motion is not in uniform in interval such motion are called non periodic motion next topic is fast versus slow can we say a motion is slow or fast without comparing anything compared to walking cycling is fast but a bus is faster than a cycle the aeroplane is much faster than a bus so slow or fast is a relative concept with depends upon the motions we are comparing the formula for average speed if we denote the distance in meter and time by seconds then the unit of average speed is meter and second if we denote the distance in kilometer and time in hour then the unit of average speed is kilometer and hour sometimes we use units like centimeter and second in science we generally use sa units in sa units the unit of distance in meter and the unit of time in second so the si unit of average speed is meter and second and then uniform and non uniform motion suppose a train leave trichopoli and arrives at madurai is the train traveled in an uniform speed first the train was stationary when the train left the station the motion was slow and only after it left some distance that is gathered speed after that it slowed down while crossing bridges and stop at intermediate station for passengers finally as the train approached madurai again it slow and finally came to a halt that is the speed was not same all through the journey time that is the speed was non uniform this motion is said to be non uniform motion however it between the journey the may be may have a stretch where in the train might have been going at a constant speed during that interval the train was moving at uniform speed that is uniform motion next topic will be a interesting one for all it's about robot everyone knows about robot so now we will see how robots help us the first one artificial intelligence artificial intelligence attempts to create computer programs that think like human brains current research has not achieved this but some computers can be programmed to recognize face in a crowd can robots think robots can think they can play complex games such as chess better than human beings but will robot ever know that it is think humans are conscious we know we are thinking but we don't know how consciousness works we don't know if robots can ever be conscious nano robotics nano robotics are nanoparts or robot scaled down to microscopic size in order to 
put them into very small spaces to perform a function. Future nanopods could be placed in the bloodstream to perform surgical producers that are too delicate or too difficult for standard surgery. Imagine if your nanopods could target cancer cells and destroy them without touching healthy cells nearby. Okay students, I hope you all understand this lesson force and motion. Now we will see the question bank of this lesson.